Hello everyone, I am Dr. Lalatindu Maharana and today we are going to discuss about what is a cancer and what are the different treatment modalities for cancer treatment at present time. So the word cancer is a synonym for all the malignant diseases and this is derived from a Greek word known as karkinos which was coined by none other than the father of modern medicine who is Hippocrates and it is the Greek term for crab. When a living cell starts dividing independently and attain immortality, it is known to become cancerous. Oncology is the study of malignant diseases and the term oncology is derived from another Greek word known as onkos which means a mass. So what are the common cancers that we come across in clinics in India? It varies according to age and the sex of the patient. Usually in adult males, most common cancer that you come across in India is the lip and oral cavity cancer. And second most common cancer is the lung cancer. And other than them, stomach cancer, colorectal cancer and esophageal cancer are the other cancers that you come across in clinics in India in case of males. And in case of females, most common cancer is the breast. And uh, then second most common cancer is again lip and oral cavity cancer. And uh, other than them, cervix cancer, lung cancer, and stomach, stomach cancer are the other cancers that we come across in clinics in India in case of females. And point here to notice, because of the uh, habit of uh, tobacco chewing, lip and oral cavity cancers are so common in Indian scenario. And what causes a cancer? Actually, there is no single reason that can be pointed out which leads to for formation of a cancerous cell rather than it is a multitude of regions, multitude of etiologies that is behind formation of a cancerous cell. And those are genetic mutations, then certain lifestyles like smoking that we know causes the lung cancer, lack of exercise or sleep, unhealthy diets and uh, many environmental factors like pollutions and uh, other like exposure to other carcinogens also they can cause cancers and uh, other biological pathogens like viruses bacteria like hepatitis b or hepatitis c or stlb virus that we know they are known cause, uh, known to cause cancers um, in, in case of uh, human and uh, other than them other diseases like uh, in the diabetes obesity and any uh, immunosuppressing diseases that suppress the immunity will also lead to causation of cancers. And uh, if you see among all these etiologies, among all these causes of cancer, almost more than 40% of cases that, that are actually uh, because of some of the preventable causes and uh, these are smoking which causes almost 19% of the cancer, obesity, alcohol use, UV radiation, physical inactivity and poor diet. These are all preventable causes of cancer which can be prevented. So this many 42% of the cancer, almost 40% of the cancer we can actually prevent by uh, living a healthy life. So what are the symptoms of cancer? So actually there can be multiple symptoms and usually it depends upon the primary site from where the cancer has originated or like the metastatic lesions where else a disease has already spread to and so head and neck cancer that is so much, so much common in case of in India they usually present this person usually present with an with a mouth a tongue ulcer which is like non healing ulcer which is like long lasting at least more than three weeks it has been there and other than that, uh, other head and neck cancers like larynx cancer, they can present with hoarseness of voice and they can also present with breathlessness and difficulty in swallowing. And patient may present with uh, complaints of coughing blood in the sputum. And uh, other than that, esophageal cancers, they may present with uh, continuous heartburn, like, which is like persistent for a longer time and uh, stomach cancers they can present with appetite loss of appetite and uh, 
persistent weight loss and uh, easy satiety uh, early satiety after taking little amount of food and uh, uh, then uh, breast cancer patient they can present with a definite lump definite lump in the breast um, or uh, some blood or uh, pus or watery discharge from the nipple and uh, other than them stomach or any other gi malignancies they can present with any change in bowel habits such as constipation or uh, loose stool or blood in the stool or, uh, or any other cancers like cervical cancer, cervical cancer, cervix. This is also so much common in Indian scenario and these patients will be presenting with either PV bleeding, per vaginal bleeding or per vaginal water discharge and bleeding can be spontaneous or bleeding can uh, be, uh, um, uh, because of the trauma due to uh, uh, act of sex and uh, they can present with uh, like menorrhagia like bleeding in between the periods and uh, or blood in the uh, urine and any difficulty in urination and uh, other cancers like uh, in many blood cancer, they, they, those patients may present with a definite lump in the body and or any loss of appetite or a heavy night sweats, fatigue, severe fatigue is a major complaint seen in case of many blood cancer patients and uh, there may be unexplained weight loss or unexplained pain or any new mole or change of the size or shape of the mole can also be there and or any other lesion, any other wound in the body which is not healing for a longer time is another mode of presentation for cancer. So in broad terms, uh, like it, stages of cancer can be divided into four as you know, like early stage or local disease or stage one usually in case of what is uh, like how we stage the solid malignancies. So local diseases when the de uh, disease, when the cancer from where it has originated it is constrained to that organ, the, that particular site only and uh, then it is called local disease and uh, when it starts growing and uh, it invades the local organs, local tissues around the particular organ from which it has originated then it is called as a local regional disease or, or a locally advanced disease we, can, we may call it. And when the disease has actually spread to other sites, like distant sites from where disease has originated, from there disease has spread to distant regions, then it is called a metastatic disease or stage 4 disease as we call in many solid malignancies. So how we treat a cancer? So like um, before few decades back, like uh, almost all the cancers were associated with this man prognosis. It used to be considered like a death sentence uh, for uh, most of our patients. But now because of the developments of science, now we are able to treat and even cure most of the cancer patients. So there are various modalities of treatment that we, on the, like, with which we treat cancer patients. Surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, hormonal therapy, targeted therapy and stem cell therapy. These are some of the modalities. We will be discussing them in the following slides. So surgery it is the oldest modality of treatment for cancer patients and uh, it is actually a local form of treatment. For the treatment and what the surgeon tries to do, he tries to reset out the all of the diseases with a negative margin. So when the disease is localized to, a, to the primary site only, it is possible for the surgeon to resect out with a negative margin that, that is not to leave behind any cancerous tissue behind. And uh, so it is a primary modality of treatment for cancers like oral cavity cancers, breast cancers, stomach cancer, esophageal cancer and colorectal cancer. Uh, but for locally advanced or metastatic diseases, uh, it may be difficult or it may be not possible 
for the surgeon to resect out all of the disease with a negative margin so in those cases where disease has actually spread and um, either uh, to the um, yeah, like uh, it has spread to distant sites usually surgery role of surgery is minimal in that case maybe some palliation of the symptom can be achieved with surgery in some cancers but it is not considered a curative approach in those cases where disease has spread to distant sites and then comes the chemotherapy and so as you know chemotherapy is a treatment of cancer with the help of cytotoxic drugs and what are the cytotoxic drugs these are the drugs that kill the rapidly dividing cancer cells as you know cancer cells they are dividing rapidly so these cells will be killed by the chemotherapy and so uh, unlike the surgery it is not a local form of treatment rather it is a systemic treatment which which helps in either like treating the disease uh, uh, both in case of locally uh, local or locally advanced or metastatic disease so it can be given either orally as tablets or parenterally as injections radiotherapy uh, like the chemotherapy it, will, it also kills the rapidly dividing cancer cells but with the help of ionizing radiations like x rays gamma rays electrons and protons and uh, like surgery it is a local form of treatment so it is most helpful for local or local regional diseases and less helpful for metastatic diseases and in case of metastatic diseases it helps for pain palliation and relieving the spinal cord compression because of the cancer metastasis so its role becomes palliative in case of metastatic diseases Uh, immunotherapy uh, this is a form of treatment which activates the body's own immune system to find and kill the cancer cells so cancer cells what what are they they are our body's cells only uh, so uh, what they do they evade the immune surveillance by suppressing the activation of immune cells by various mechanisms and uh, what this immunotherapy do it blocks this suppression of the immune cells so it actually helps the activation reactivation of the immune immune cells for killing the cancer cells and cancer cells though they are the cells of our own body they do differ from the normal cells in many aspects so they may express certain molecules on their surface which are more common than the normal cells of the body and certain mutations are found only in some of the cancer cells and they are called the driver mutations as they help in the pathogenesis of these cancers and these targeted drugs they specifically target these molecules which are more commonly expressed in cancer cells or these specific mutations which are more commonly found in these cancer cells and by targeting this specific pathways or target targeting this specific molecules they achieve the killing of the cancer cells and the normal cells normal healthy cells are not killed by the targeted therapy and many cancers as you know they are sensitive to hormones that is they grow more in the presence of some of the particular hormones and hormonal therapy uses hormonal agents to inhibit the growth of cancers and most commonly hormonal therapy is used in breast cancer and prostate cancers so coming to stem cell therapy uh, bone marrow stem cells they help in hematopoiesis what is hematopoiesis hematopoiesis is formation of blood and its components in the bone marrow so many cancers they require very high dose of chemotherapy and this high dose chemotherapy besides killing the cancer cells they also kill the normal bone marrow stem cells as well which results in stoppage of the formation of the blood components and stem cell therapy it collects and stores healthy stem cells from the patients of from the patient himself or hlmr close relatives 
and this stored stem cells are infused into the patient after high dose chemotherapy to help in regenerating the bone marrow in the patient and uh, and it it helps in now uh, many of the blood cancers where high dose chemotherapy is indicated so what is the role of documentation of data in oncology so cancer patients with similar disease may have been treated differently because of various technical constraints and proper documentation of the patient data and toxicities will help us compare the treatment outcome between patients who have received different treatment modalities for similar cancer and in long run it will help us find out the optimal treatment plan for the patient so summarizing in comparison to a few decades back we are now a big leap forward in terms of managing cancer patients now we understand the it pathogenesis and molecular driver mechanisms behind development of cancers many cancers are diagnosed at an early stage and are completely curable with multimodality treatment approaches which constitutes surgery immuno chemotherapy targeted therapy hormonal therapy and radiotherapy and documentation of patient data and maintaining cancer registries would help us better the treatment plans in long run thank you